So I'm watching this movie, and I, I'm watching these characters, and I, rarely do I watch a film, a horror film especially, and not know where it's going. Mm -hmm. What was your reaction, I guess all three of you, when you read the script? Did you I, have any idea? <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I think we all liked about it, is that it was, you don't know where it's going, and that's really refreshing when you're reading scripts, because you kind of, a lot of the time you know where they're going. I think. <laughs> yeah, I agree. What about you two? What, what was your reaction? Yeah, I, I, I think the, the cool thing about this is it's not just a movie and then there's a twist at the end. It's like, um, there's a, it's very layered and um, very intricate story. So it was very, um, you know, gripping while reading it. And of course, um, I watched Good Night, Mommy, and it kind of had a similar tone. And there's a lot of twists and turns in that movie. So. Um, I was kind of just imagining the script like that movie and I knew I wanted to be a part of it because that was so beautifully done and mm -hmm. um, I just wanted to be part of something that had any chance of being similar to that, so, yeah. I was really excited reading it because it's not like any other horror movie. It's a very different original idea, which I loved. They really built the characters up really well in the movie, I think, and it even though it sounds kind of twisted, you sort of understand why they all act the way they do, and sure. you, you, you feel bad for them, you don't know who's the bad guy, and... Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, I think there's a, well, it's funny you say that, because generally horror goes to some kind of supernatural level. This is 100% reality-based. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's also hard to talk about, because I don't want to yes. spoil it for anyone. I know, <laughs> finding that to be really difficult, it's like a, it's hard to talk about it. Yeah. Without I, spoiling I, it. Well, what about, okay, let, let me ask you two, uh, your relationship. This is a really <laughs> wonderful relationship without spoiling. How did you guys work together? And what was, what did, what was the secret for you guys? We hated each other, but we it's really all acting. We hated each other. <laughs> all acting. <laughs> the directors, the, re the directors um, had us like hang out a lot. We went rock climbing, ice skating, like we were, I know our hotel rooms were close. We went to dinner a lot. We just, we hung out with each other and we had a, we had a great time and they, they always kept us away from Riley. <laughs> Never wanted us to like be get too close to her. So Aww. Yeah, it was sad. <laughs> we were also in like an isolated place in the middle of nowhere. So. And I had no one to hang out with. Yeah. What? They <laughs> it's not fair. I know. It was a bummer. <laughs> you have this is a really interesting character. Um, I, I found her unique in the sense that how, how much research did you do into the past, I guess, with mm -hmm. what she deals with? How yeah. much research? Um, so luckily, Veronica and Severin had done a lot for me. So oh. I had a lot. They had been researching people who had gone through similar kind of, kind of circumstances to Grace. So they brought a lot to me. Um, I had like people to talk to who had been through similar experiences and a lot of information on, you know, what the results are from trauma like mm. that. Um, and obviously, like, I don't have real experiences to go off of, but you do your best to honor, you know, truth. And um, I just could do the best I could in imagining what that might be like. No, you did a good job. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Thank you. Uh, you. You're becoming kind of the king of horror here. <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, you're, and you're really good at it. What, what, do you like horror? Are you a fan of it in general? I don't know if I've asked you that before. He doesn't know. He yeah, doesn't, he doesn't really, he doesn't really. really. Like I feel, I'm I'm a bit of a scaredy cat. Really. Um, so it's funny, but no, I feel like it. Eh, I don't care about the genre. It's more about the script and the people attached to it. And I was just drawn to this story and um, wanted to be a part of it. And um, like I said, it's not about it being horror necessarily. Yeah. 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 yeah I think also with this one, it's like. There's a lot of very human things in it that mm -hmm. are interesting, um, and some scary stuff. Well, I, to be honest, I, you know, the monsters and, and ghosts and stuff are scary, for sure, sure. But there's nothing more fer terrifying than than your mind. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Scary. It's a scary thing. What yes. people are capable of. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. I mean, yeah. we see it all the time. We see it yeah. in the news. We see. I mean, they, I I kept watching this film, going, "Well, this could happen." This I think that, like that's what's. I think a lot it. of people like going crazy or like your mind controlling you is like a terrifying, like the dark side of your mind controlling you is like a terrifying thought for a lot of people. Yeah. So, you know, it's just some 
more of that, putting it, putting that out into the world. <laughs> now, you, you guys have made one, I, frankly, it's one of the best films I've seen in a while. It's also one of the most challenging films in a while. What, was there levity on the set? I mean, was it, was it constant? Yeah, how there was, was levity. It like? Our DP, like, napped all day. <laughs> <laughs> they were playing. Yeah. I was just freezing. Doing school in the attic. Not talking to anyone. Yeah. Um, school in the attic. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> what were the director, how do they approach the material? Like, are they, are they, do you call them actors, directors, or do they, you know, because there's a lot of really great shots and visually <laughs> stunning, but it's also very character driven. How were they to work with? And what was they, that experience like? They loved us, well, they loved improv, because mm -hmm. they wrote the script in German and then they had to translate it back to English, and so they were like, you guys, you know, say your own words. They just kind of would give us the gist of the scene and some ideas, and we just take it from there. It'd be really funny because in between takes, they'd be like yelling at each other in German, and we would not know what they were saying, and then they'd be like, oh yeah, it's good, we can move on. <laughs> <We're> like, <laughs> that is weird. So I, think, I think they're actors, directors, and that like, they're really supportive of what you wanna do, and they yeah. give you a lot of freedom. Like, I felt a lot of freedom to try things, or, you know. Mm -hmm. What was some, one, one thing you really wanted to accomplish with this role? My own personal, um, it's always personal. You know, it's always like, oh, I really feel like this, I need to get this out of my system for whatever reason. What about you guys? Yeah. Was, there, was there like a, I mean, you guys are very talented young actors. <laughs> was there something that you wanted to find playing these characters? Yeah, I think, um, I think it's always easy to, not easy, but it's easier, easier to find a character that is um, good or bad and, um, you know, obviously all characters are flawed, but it's hard to find a character that is so complex that you don't know whether or not to root for them. Mm -hmm. And this was the case with this character where um, they're not exactly the bad guy or the good guy, but um, they definitely do some things that you don't agree with, and but you also understand their pain. And yeah. so that was a lot of um, a lot of fun, actually, just trying to come up with um, that mindset and all the internal things that are going through their minds. And um, it was a very special character to mm. play. Yeah. Hello? Did you do that? We didn't do anything. We're leaving. What are you talking about? Look outside. We're stuck here. Ah! Oh my God, please help me. It's okay. Trust me. You have nothing to be scared about.